Hello Radiant Church, Pastor Jeremy here, carrying on with this uh, short little Devo series on how we can pray during this election season. How can we pray in this unique cultural moment where things are very combative, things are very chaotic, and sometimes we can ask ourselves, what can I do to help? What can I do to make a difference? Well, one of the things we get to do as Christ followers is pray. <clears throat> and one of the ways that is uh, really helpful and beneficial to um, a, a way to pray and so that we are praying with confidence and boldness is to pray from Scripture and allow Scripture to inform our prayers so we're not just shooting in the dark. One example of that, a good example of that is 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 8 uh, through 10. Let me read it and then we'll, I'll show you how we can pray from that. For not only, Paul is speaking to the Thessalonian believers, for not only has the word of the Lord sounded forth from you in Macedonia and Achaia, but your faith in God has gone forth everywhere, so that we need not say anything. For they themselves report concerning us the kind of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the wrath to come. One of the things I love about this passage is that it reminds us of what the, mo the most important thing that could happen in our culture, in our land, that would make things better. Now certainly, we want to pray that, uh, that, that things will get, be get better and improve in our world and in our nation as, uh, uh, as politics improve and get better, as good public policy is made. So as we enter this election season, we want to pray that righteousness would prevail uh, as votes are cast and that the people put into power would do uh, good for the people. So that's completely appropriate and we ought to pray that way because it matters. And not forgetting what is most important, that is that the gospel would sound forth and that as it sounds forth, people, as it says here, would turn from idols to God. That is where our nation will change. That is where our culture will change when all kinds of ideal, uh, idols and ideologies that have been made into idols are dethroned and instead they begin to serve God Almighty. And so you take this and you say, Lord, I thank you that the gospel has sounded forth and it's echoed and it's moved and transformed my life, my family's life. And Lord, I pray that it would sound forth all across this land and <clears throat> in mighty ways, Lord, raise up harvest uh, workers for the harvest do a mighty work in our day and as that happens Lord I pray that idols would be dethroned and your name would be made glorious and you as you pray that way there's two things that happens one is that you pray, as you pray that things begin to happen hearts are changed you know we believe that as we intercede that transformation can take place and and, and God can move in beautiful ways but also it reorients our heart to remember where our true hope lies. It's very easy when loud voices are coming all over the place that say our hope lies and how well things go on election day. That is not where our hope lies. Now we want things to go well on election day, but our hope lies in the gospel of Jesus. And I got news for you, nothing can stop the gospel of Jesus Christ, nothing. Throughout all of history, there's been all kinds of things that have come against it to try to stop it, but nothing stops the gospel. So as we pray that way, not only does it do good out there, but it centers us to have our hope in the right place. May that happen to you as you pray from Scripture. Blessings on you.